double time. Here we go. Together, one beat. It's been a long morning. Let's try that again. Here we go. One, two. Yes! Two beats. One, two, ready. And two again. One, two. It's faster, yeah. Try three. Four, four again, four again. Nine it is. All together, nine beats. Don't hurt yourselves. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody drum roll. Back to the beat on four. My name is Pavel Lempert, and, and please indulge me as I ask you again, how do you feel? Yeah. All right, right? Yeah, we thought we'd end this with a bang. So I ask you how to feel, because I, I think what you're feeling is, is what happens when people come together, get connected, and create something together. It's, uh, it hits us here. It hits us here. It hits us in a place that's open to possibilities. It's visceral. It's not like it hits us here. It was a feeling, not a thought. So this rhythm, this drumming, we're open to it. It's part of the human experience. Life is rhythm. Life is cycles. In fact, before we even come into this world, as we develop in our mother's womb, inches from her own heartbeat, dun 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 dun, we are connected to rhythm right here. 
So these past 10 years, I've had this uh, great fortune to be a f facilitator for Drum Cafe New York. I have facilitated for hundreds of organizations and thousands of individuals. And the vast majority of our sessions are focused on um, facilitating an element of change or progress. And uh, without a doubt, you know, our, our special sauce is the fact that we bring drums for everyone. Uh, and we also are able to deliver our clients' objectives in a way that truly resonates with the participants. Um, now, the drums, one of the great aspects of these drums is the fact that they amplify individual contributions, but yet the collective effort also resonates right at our fingertips. So simultaneously, we are all sending and receiving. Now, in our sessions, as everyone's busy sending and receiving and getting connected, my job is to just gently nudge them out of their comfort zones. And once people get out of their comfort zone, that's really when the transformational work can begin. That's where we are able to bring play into work. So let's, let's just take a moment and talk about play. Uh, the word itself is inviting and reeks of possibility. Ooh, I get to play. Oh, I have to work. Right there, it's just in the language, possibilities. Uh, it's a process. Play is a process. Ooh, I, uh, let, let's try this. What, what, if, what will happen if I do this? Ooh, I don't know. Where is this leading? I can't wait to see. Possibilities and play. It's all right there. Um, and, and I have to say, uh, I'm often struck as adults how we sort of need structures or some sort of gimmick or apparatus to help us feel as open and free as we were as a child. Has anyone here ever watched children play like dress up or make believe? There's not a whole lot of discussion of how are we going to do this? Uh, what does this mean? What are we trying to achieve here? <laughs> they just jump in fearlessly, you know. I'm going to be the pirate. I'm the starship captain. I'm fish man. <laughs> you know, and off they go. So how as adults, how do we how do we get there? I thought you'd never ask. You know, one of the central tenets of uh, improvisational theater and musical jam sessions is this concept called yes and. And the whole idea of that is uh, all the participants, all the collaborators, receive with a yes. So judgment is out the door. They just receive with a yes and they return with an and. So it's cumulative. It's a process. It's building. Now, you know, if, if a particular idea isn't quite working, so you move on. But there's no stopping, there's no no, there's no judgment. It's open, it's generous. So I, I think that uh, this is something that translates uh, into something we can all use. Because quite frankly, uh, just to sort of sum up with it, with a great connection and uh, a, a sense of, of possibility, uh, fear. And, and when we take focus off of other people, off of ourselves, and put it onto other people, people, fear takes a backseat to, to generosity and to a palpable sense of possibilities. And when you mix that in with that uh, combustible, magical fuel we call passion, then failures simply become lessons to learn from, and success is mere stepping stone along our journey. So that's all I'm going to say today. But fortunately, you all have drums. So please, let's play some more. Everyone pick up your drums. I'm going to invite you to repeat after me. We'll see how good your listening is. Settle down. <laughs> She's playing. Uh, yeah, don't get cocky.
Okay, let me explain what's happening right there. <laughs> a room full of intelligent people who are just discovering <clears throat> it doesn't help. <laughs> Open yourself to the process. If you don't get it in the first time, I see a lot of this happening, and that's okay. Smile <laughs> and clap. Never hurts. Keep smiling. Couple more, let's see. Me than you. I know. We're like advancing quickly here. So what we're going to do now is create an arena, a yes, if you will. So we have bass beats, and that's it. Join me on the bass beats. This is our yes. The space is our and. What am I saying? I know. A little confusing. The and is for us to join and share. Pablo. Andy. All right, now it's your turn. I'm going to do this by table. All right, over here, my musical table. Three chances to fill in the space. Ready? After this one. My other musical table. Little Miss Excitement over there. After this one, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. You did it, you did it, awesome. How about this table here? After this one, here we go. Nice. This table over here. Awesome. This whole half of the room. Awesome. Now this half, here we go. Everybody, here we go. Now back to this, here we go. Everybody! Drum roll! On the count of four, just the three bass beats. That's all we have time for. Thank you very much. <laughs>